is Sarah. Sarah lives in Canada. She speaks a little English. She writes a little English. Sarah wants to go to the dentist. She knows that she should go every year. Sarah asks her friend for help. She asks her friend to make an appointment for her at the dentist. Her friend finds a dentist close to Sarah's house. Sarah's friend calls the dentist. She says that Sarah hasn't been to a dentist for a long time. She says that Sarah doesn't have any problem with her teeth. She doesn't have a toothache. She doesn't have pain. She only needs a checkup. She needs to get her teeth cleaned. Sarah's friend asks how much money it will cost. The receptionist says it depends on Sarah's insurance coverage. She asks if Sarah has insurance. Sarah's friend tells the receptionist about Sarah's insurance. The receptionist says how much it will cover. Sarah thinks that is okay. She says she wants an appointment. Sarah's friend makes an appointment. It is for next week. Sarah makes sure she knows the date and time of the appointment. She doesn't want to be late for the appointment. Today is Sarah's dentist appointment. Sarah gets ready. Sarah takes her health care card. She takes her picture ID. It has her name and her picture on it. She takes her insurance card too. It shows that she has insurance. Sarah takes her friend to help her. Her friend will help Sarah understand what the dentist says. They check in at the dentist. Sarah says her name. She says she has an appointment. The receptionist asks her questions. She asks for Sarah's address and phone number. Sarah tells her. Sarah shows her health care card and her picture ID. She shows her insurance card. Sarah fills in a form. Her friend helps her. There are a lot of questions. There are questions about her teeth, but also about allergies and health problems. The dentist needs to know about Sarah's health. Sarah's friend writes the information on the form for Sarah. Sarah waits. She sits in the waiting room and waits to be called. It is her turn. A woman calls Sarah's name. She is a dental hygienist. She will clean Sarah's teeth. She smiles and asks Sarah to follow her. Sarah follows her into a small room. Sarah's friend comes too. Sarah sits in a special chair. Her friend sits beside her. The hygienist asks questions. She speaks slowly. She asks about Sarah's teeth. She asks about Sarah's health. Sarah understands a little, but she doesn't understand everything. Sarah asks her friend for help. Her friend helps her understand. Her friend helps her answer the questions. The hygienist says it is time for the x-rays. She asks if Sarah is pregnant. Sarah can't get x-rays if she is pregnant. Her friend can't stay in the room when Sarah gets x-rays. Her friend steps out of the room for a minute. The dental hygienist gets Sarah ready for the x-rays. She puts something in Sarah's mouth. 
It doesn't hurt. Sarah sits still. She doesn't move. Sarah gets x-rays. She doesn't feel anything. It takes a very short time. Then her friend comes back. The hygienist puts a paper towel around Sarah to keep her shirt clean. She gives Sarah special glasses to wear to protect her eyes. The chair moves. The hygienist turns on the light above the chair. The hygienist cleans Sarah's teeth. It takes a little while. The hygienist uses special tools. Some tools make noise. They help get her teeth very clean. The dentist comes in. The dentist talks to Sarah. The dentist talks to the hygienist. The dentist looks at Sarah's teeth. She looks at the x-rays. The dentist says that Sarah's teeth are healthy. But there is one small problem. Sarah has a cavity. It is a small hole in one of Sarah's teeth. Sarah's friend helps her understand. The dentist says she can fix the cavity. Sarah's insurance covers the cost. Sarah doesn't need to pay anything. But Sarah will need to come back for another appointment. Sarah doesn't understand. She tells the dentist that she doesn't have any pain. She doesn't need to fix anything. The dentist tells Sarah that the cavity is a little problem now. But it will become a big problem soon if they don't fix it. The dentist says that Sarah can decide if she wants to fix it or not. Sarah decides. She will get the cavity fixed. She doesn't want a bigger problem. She makes an appointment. Her friend helps her. They will come back next week. Sarah is done for today. She is happy.